Tarzan and the Diamond of Asher. Tarzan and his party are encamped on the bank of a tributary of the Ubangi River. Behind them on the trail are Atan Tom and Lal Tusk. They are after a map which Helen Gregory has given to Tarzan for safekeeping. Before Tarzan and his friends are able to cross the river, a jungle storm breaks. The tornado whips through the forest with a titanic elemental fury. Great trees bend and snap like slender pipe stems. The heavens are banked with fantastically shaped black clouds that send down solid sheets of water. The deafening crash and roll of thunder combines with the banshee howl of the wind. The convulsion of sound is maddening. In their tent, Helen, Bagra, and Gregory manage to watch Darno as he peers out into the blackness. Suddenly, a terrific bellowing blast. The tent ropes snap, and the four are crashed to the ground beneath a leaden weight of clinging soap cans. Open yet the eyes. Elaine, ma petite, ma chère. She's only knocked out, Lieutenant. Don't lag behind. Oh, Monsieur Gregory, voila, voila. She is awake. Oh, my poor Bond. How are you? Tell me. Oh, I'm all right, sir. Uh, Lieutenant. Oh, I thank the bon Dieu, Elie de Bond. Oh, I am so happy. Well, here's the foot of the hill. Can you hear me, Wolf? Come oh, straight up the hill toward my boy. You'll find a clear path. Oh, we are coming. I, I'm sure I can walk now, Lieutenant. I, if you'll just put me down. No, I shall carry you. Mon Dieu, but I was afraid. Afraid that you were 
gone. Up here, Wolf! Yeah, we'll make it! This wind is terrible! Help back, Wolf! I'll give Barbara a hand. All right, Arno? Oui, oui, sûrement. Uh, where to, Taza? Over here, under this big mahogany tree. Never was Usha strong enough to tear this one down. We'll keep close together, on the lee side. There isn't a better shelter in the jungle. But Tarzan, where's Larson? I sent him to look after the natives. Did you see him, Wolf? No, but Dutch Sweet can take care of himself anywhere. Helen crouches beside Arno. Wolf, as best he can, protects Margaret and Gregory with his huge frame. Throughout the seemingly endless hours of the night, the furious battle of the elements rages on. Finally, with one mighty clap of rolling thunder, the tornado spends itself in a last effort. And almost as quickly as it came, dies away, muttering sullenly in the distance. <laughs> Morning. A blazing African sun glares yellow upon the steaming jungle. Tarzan leads his little party down to the wreckage that was a camp. They look about them. A dreary, desolate sight meets their gaze. A wreckage of tents and water-soaked equipment. Chaos. It looks pretty bad, eh, Dano? Oui, Monsieur Gregory, it does. The natives, Tarzan... There is not one of them in sight. And there isn't much use in looking for them. You mean... They're gone. Deserted. From the looks of things, they've taken most of the supplies with them. Me? How can you be sure of that? They are probably in the jungle somewhere. You're right. They're in the jungle somewhere. I've seen it happen too often not to know. If they hadn't meant to run off, they'd be here. What's the trouble, Tarzan? The natives. There isn't a black left in camp. And the better part of our supplies have gone with them. Do you mean that we are here in the jungle alone? That's exactly what I mean. Well, why look at me? <laughs> it ain't my fault. I'm sure it isn't Wolf. Wolf's fault, Tarzan? I didn't tell any of you, but yesterday I caught Wolf whipping the witch doctor. He's a big man to the natives with a great deal of influence over them. I've seen it take less than that to make bearers desert a safari. Eh bien, it will not help matters to stand here and, and look. We must decide what we are going to do. And Larson, what do you suppose has happened to him? Well, I was pegging down my tent last night, and when I come back, <laughs> he was gone. In such a terrific hurricane, anyone could become lost. Yes, of course. Are oh, those guns, Darno? Are they damaged? No, when they have been dried and cleaned, they will be as good as ever. You better clean them, then. And get together what's left of our belongings. And keep your rifles handy. Take care of the others, Darno. I'm leaving. Oh, but... But where, Tarzan? Where are you going? To look for Larson and the bearers. Oh, Tarzan. I wish you wouldn't leave us. Now, look here. You think it was my fault that the natives deserted, huh? All right. I'll go look for them. And Larson, too. You stay here, Tarzan. These people need you. No. I'm going to find... Je vous prie, Tarzan. Wolf a raison. He is right. With our bearers and supplies gone, we must decide upon what we are going to do. And without you, we can decide nothing. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. I know the jungle. And I know the back trail. If Larson is to be found, I bring him back. All right. If you run into trouble, fire two shots. We'll wait here until you get back. If you haven't found trace of Larson by tomorrow night... Come in. Oh, Wolf. Wolf. Wolf, Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, Wolf. Looks as if Wolf wants to square himself for whipping the witch doctor, eh? Maybe. Oh, I do hope nothing has happened to Mr. Larson. Larson is a man very familiar with the jungle, Elaine. He will return if he is alive. You do not think I he is... believe, Margaret, that Larson will return. Has I sent him to look after the natives? He obeys orders. I have no doubt that he is with the bearers now, or... On their trail. Oh, I hope so. Do you really think, Tarzan, that feeding the witch doctor caused the natives to desert? I... I don't know yet. However, the main thing is to decide what you want to do. Well, with supplies and bears gone, there isn't anything left but to go back to Bunga. You want to get to the mountain of Tuanbaka, find your son...
on, don't you? Of course, but... Then why not go on? But how in heaven's name? We have little or no food, no bearers to carry what we have. No one to build the camp at night, no one to cut the wood and do the work. Nevertheless, if you want to go on, we will. What do you say, Darno? Hey, good, mes amis. I have traveled with Tarzan for months through the wildest sort of jungle, with four men and a woman, and with no other equipment than... <laughs> Well, with no more than a few right clothes on our backs. And you came through? <laughs> Am I not here? Tarzan led us and took care of us. Well, I don't know how you did it, but if you say we can, I am ready. How about it, gentlemen? If we go back now and begin all over, we'll be weeks getting together another safari. Well, if Tarzan and Lieutenant Darno say so, I'm ready to go through. I will go anywhere with Tarzan. Then that's settled. We've got to cross the river. It's running high. I'm going to look at the ford and see if it's passable. And in the meantime, we shall continue to salvage what we can from this wreckage, eh? Yes, Darno. Gather what you can. When I come back, we'll choose what we need most and make separate bundles of it. Darno, you and Gregory keep your rifles handled. I won't be long. Tarzan's hand grasps a trailing vine. A few deft catches and he's gone. In the storm-wrecked camp, Darno, Gregory, and the two young women work like beavers sorting over the debris. The Frenchman keeps a watchful eye on the boundaries of the little clearing. He feels that for the moment, at least, the responsibility is his. Et oui. Now, let us pile the things over here beside this tent. It is the largest and the strongest. And if we take one with us, this will be it. I'm mighty glad you know where to start and what to do. I'm a total loss in this business. Now, well, if we were in the wheat pit in Chicago... But we aren't, Dad. And we're not gambling with socks. This time, you're gambling with your life. Lieutenant Dano. Look over there. What are those horrible creatures? Oh, sacre! Ellen, Gregory, come here, close to me. What is it? Oh! No noise, Ellen. Stand still, all of you. Do not make a move. Great Scott! What are they? Gorillas? Those are the great apes. Tarzan, meanwhile, has scouted the river crossing and started back through the trees at his usual rapid pace. His sensitive ear catches a strangely familiar note in the voice of the jungle. He darts ahead through the lower terrace at lightning speed to pause for an instant at the edge of the clearing. There, surrounding his friends, are the great apes. As he looks, one of the monsters lets out a terrifying shriek. The ape seizes Helen by the arm. In a split second, Tarzan is on the ground and running with the speed of a deer, Drake toward the hairy giant. 